Hello everyone and welcome to the first devlog that I'm posting on to this channel. I will be posting all my devlogs moving forward, so hopefully you want to see that kind of content. We're making a Unity game, and I'm making this with Common Cran, Jim Wood, and Max Giddens. A couple of people I've done a lot of source engine development with. You may know Max Giddens, he did Red Bull Flick with me. Jim Wood has Ember in-game right now in CSGO, and Common Cran has done a ton of work with us on our demo parser and other just various code projects like that. He has a couple levels that he worked on in CS as well. Branching off from Source into an actual game engine like Unity makes a ton of sense. You may or may not know that CS2 was recently announced. So in the time where we don't have proper level tools for that, we're kind of taking a break from Source Engine in CS and focusing a lot more on Unity in an actual game. We've been working on this for about seven months, kind of in the background with other projects. But now it makes a ton of sense for us to focus on this project and really get it done. The concept of the game, if you haven't seen the previous devlogs, which if you would like to see, I've uploaded those as well. And in one video, I've put one, two, and three, and you can just watch those through. They're not very good, uh, and I am not very good at this format of video. It's something that I hope to get better at, and maybe you'll see that as we progress. The game is a portal-inspired chamber puzzle game. There are many like it. Ours, I think, is unique, even though it has things that have been done before. You end up just needing to solve various puzzle elements and then the door in the back opens and you leave, go to the next room. The thing about our game is that you work with yourself in kind of a co-op capacity to solve these puzzles. However, the game is only single player. So I will show you what that looks like now on this little intro level that we have put together. So we have, you know, buttons and the player can activate this one. And then there's this unique one, which only a box can activate. These assets are made by Max Giddens, and they are fantastic, our little recorder here on the left side. So we can pick up this box, and this box holds a recording. The recording is essentially our player actions. So I pick this up, and I get an amount of time for it to record what I've done. And then everything resets, and then I can play that back, and the recording will do what I just did. And it's not a static recording. I can you know, push this guy around and make him do other things. So his path can change depending on the environment, which adds another level of depth because you can kind of change the path of things after they've already been set because we're playing back what the player has done, kind of demo style. And it, it just lets us do some interesting things. So to solve this level, you know, you take this cube and you put it on this box button and then you stand on this one. And then when you play that back, he puts that there and then he stands there and then you'd be able to get through if you do it just a little bit faster. And we play that back. We can walk out. And then it resets and we'd go through and it would load the next level. And this has been a really fun project. Uh, there's been a lot of changes under the hood since the last update. The last update that I posted was in, I believe, November. Since then, we did take a little break. There was the holiday season there. We took our trip to Copenhagen for Red Bull, so there's also some time where, where I was not able to work on the project. We've since done a lot of things to get this thing in, in bigger shape, and this is kind of the other side of dev, which isn't just coding for us. We've had to do a lot of just planning to make it feel good. So we have a couple boards on Trello that really outline you know all the stuff that we've done and who it's assigned to, all of the bugs that we just did a playtest yesterday, and there's some there's some bugs that now need to be fixed, so those will hopefully be resolved soon, and I'll have another build out. I've also thrown together a Miro board, which Max Giddens suggested, and this is just a really easy way for us to flow out the levels of the game. We're not really focused on a story at this point. Uh, you can kind of think of that how Portal 1 kind of came to be, or, or, or Nebacular Drop, I believe is what the game was called before. There wasn't really a story, there's just kind of a mechanic, right? Since this is our first project, we're really just working on a mechanic and getting things to, to function. So we're pretty much at that functioning part, but during playtesting, we've run into a lot of issues where players don't know what's going on, obviously, and that's why we playtest. So after boarding this out with the intro and then test layout, this is something that I believe valve did with portal and it seems to work really well for us as well is probably a reason why they did that we introduce a bunch of mechanics and then we test the players on those mechanics introducing nothing new there's this section at the beginning which I actually have to note i don't love 
how we just info dump first for basically six levels. You really need those basic concepts to be able to do any puzzle that is worth doing. And these are all pretty easy anyways. And then we test on the mechanics and then we introduce a new mechanic and then we test on them, introduce and test. Until eventually we finish testing on all of those mechanics and then there's just the end game levels which we actually don't have done yet as indicated by wanted and missing. So the current push or, or dev state right now, I guess, is, is to push for these levels to be finished and then play test the rest of the things out. Hopefully once everything is play tested and finished, we should have a game that we can be pretty proud of. We'll then obviously need to art pass everything and still test and test and test after that. We have not really gotten too deep into shader graph or anything complex like that. So it's still something that we have to learn. But we have written a monstrous amount of code. It's all been a lot of fun. It's all really shined some perspective for me on, on game dev as a whole. And I think it's it's the logical next step for me if I want to get into game dev further on the side for a hobby. I didn't really get into any of the nitty gritty in this video. I will probably do that moving forward since there's just so much time between the last update and this update. It's pretty much impossible for me to cover everything without just rambling for even longer than I already have. I hope you enjoyed this look into what has become my pet project for the last eight months. I hope you enjoyed it and maybe someday it will be on Steam where maybe five people will play it, but that would be sweet even if only five people played it. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one eventually.